Malala was born in 1997 in Pakistan. These were difficult and dangerous times because there was a war between the government of Pakistan and the Taliban. The Taliban wanted to forcefully impose their ideas. One of these ideas was Like you, Malala thinks that everyone has the right to go to school. So at a very young age, she began to defend her right and that of all the girls in her country to go to school. Do you know how old she was when she gave her first public speech? At 11 years of age, Malala became a blogger for the BBC. In her blog, she explained what the war was like, her fears, and how she lived under the threat of the Taliban. To write her blog, Malala The war continued and the Taliban prohibited girls from going to school. They also destroyed hundreds of schools to prevent them from even trying. They threatened everyone that wanted to go to school. They began to see Malala as an enemy because she defended the right of all girls to go to school and dared to make speeches against the Taliban. As the result of the threats she received, Malala But one day something terrible happened. When Malala returned from school, the Taliban shot her and she was seriously injured. Luckily, the doctors managed to save her life. After a few days, she was transferred to a hospital in After many operations and days in the hospital, Malala made a complete recovery. On July 12, 2013, the day she turned 16 years old, she made an emotional speech before the UN. Since then, July 12th is Malala Day. But Malala's international recognition does not end here. At just 17 years old, she became the youngest person to receive the Malala's struggle for the right of all girls to go to school has barely begun. Malala continues working and spreading her ideas through books, documentaries, and interviews. Because today, there are still 130 million girls who cannot go to school. If one girl with an education can change the world, what can 130 million do?